Hi everybody. Uh, I just want to give you a quick update of the things that I've been working on lately. And you guys know what it's uh, coming up from me in the next few weeks. Let's start. We're going to start with the new Apple II joystick. This is a um, recreation or, you know, redo uh, in 3D of the original Apple joystick. So in comparison, there is an Apple joystick and this is our, our new version. Uh, they're very, very similar. And uh, there's a, a few differences. Uh, the, the one is, the first one is it doesn't have these adjustings. But other than that, it has almost the same thing, the same look and feel and it works exactly the same. So right now I got it connected to this computer. Let's go to the MECC. And uh, as you can see, it works perfectly. It's centered and the buttons are actually a lot easier to click than, than the original one. The original one uses different um, switches and I change it to use um, the switches from keyboards. It uses Matthias keys and uh, they're very easy to, to work and they really are, are very easy to use. So this recreation, it's very nice. It's a lot lighter than the original one and uh, it's strong, although you, you don't have to or you don't want to really, you know, do uh, very hard things or, or smash it or anything like that. But other than that, it's, it's pretty good. You don't have to push it hard. That's the best part. If you push it hard, you could actually damage it. So that's the only issue that, that I, I tell the people when they buy it, that they have to be very careful with the buttons. You don't need to push hard to, to make it work. So other than that, it's a great recreation. It works very good. And I'm, I'm gonna be selling it pretty soon on my website. All right, let's go to the second one. The second one are these two. And these are, let's turn them on. These both are floppy EMUs. Let me turn off and turn on so you can see it. These are floppy EMUs. This one, somebody did it in Apple Freighter a few months ago or a year, I don't know. And I was very, very impressed. So what happened is that when I saw this, it gave me the idea to create actually this one. This one actually was uh, shown at BCF Midwest last year. And since then, I've been trying to make it a lot nicer, easier, and do upgrades for this. So actually, I am almost done doing upgrades for this and to sell it because people are being, have been asking to get them from me. So what are these? This is basically the floppy EMU from Big Nest of Wires. The only thing that I did is I put a bigger screen. I put the buttons on the front, but if you open it up, Big mess of wires is in there with a bunch of cables and of course the, the adapter so I can have the, the SD card outside. The other thing that I like to do uh, that I, I put over here is the lights, the LEDs, green and red. So they show up on the front. The green is actually pretty strong. So I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing something to make it less light. But as you can see, this is exactly the same size and uh, the same as an external floppy drive uh, for the Apple II, uh, 2GS, and uh, the Macintosh. So it can be used for that. And uh, basically you have all the, the things from the, the um, floppy EMU, but in a beautiful presentation. So this is one of them. You got the buttons here. You can remove and put in the, the SD card from, from here from the front. And, uh, and that's it. It works perfectly. You connect it over there and, in, and you know, you manage it and it loads things on the computer. Now let's talk about the original five and a quarter and why I'm doing this. So several people have approached me and told me that I should recreate this. I was not aware that the person that did them, it was done in metal. It was um, done in, in several methods that were a little bit difficult to recreate and expensive. 
so I actually went away and begin to redo everything manually by myself. I didn't took anything from the person that did it at the beginning. So I, I redid everything by myself, uh, by, you know, in, in 3D CAD. This is my first iteration of it. It has the same, it's the same look and feel as the other one. It has this, the four buttons over here. I just put a logo. This logo is from Geekensfield that actually I, I, I will recommend it a lot to, to do that. And then I got like the original, the two lights over here and some text and everything like that. The differences between my version and, and his is that this is 3D printed and actually this, if you can see it, it has the same um, texture as the original drive. Also, uh, this is 3D printed in two colors. So these are not labels. This is actually a 3D print in a different color. So these are embedded to the, to the 3D. So that's good. This is uh, an original case, but uh, I, I've heard from that people want also to get the case 3D printed and it can be done. So anyway, how, how do I did it? Um, and I'm gonna do another program just to explain very, very well what I did over here. And actually I'm gonna have two, a couple of options, but this is my, my beta version and I wanna, I, I'm still working on it. So it's not, not completely done. But as you can see, I also 3D printed the, the base. So it's almost everything 3D printed. And what I did is I put some cables that are gonna come over here to the buttons. And then for the LEDs, instead of the original, the original, they ha you had to solder things. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that this can be done by the user. So I can sell a kit and the user doesn't have to even uh, solder anything. So there's gonna be things that you just put in on top of the buttons and they're gonna take care of the, the, the buttons. And also you're gonna put some, some uh, tubes that will bring the light to the front, as you can see over here. If I turn it off, there's the, the, the red light is a little bit uh, fade, but the, the green one is pretty good. As you can see, the light comes from these plastic tubes. So I solved that problem with that. And I am going to have another version that uh, hopefully is gonna be a lot easier than this one. It's gonna be less things to add and less things to click, but the layout is gonna change a little bit over here. But anyway, these, these are the, the latest things that I've been working on. The last one that I wanna show is, is this. This is a system saver, but the difference between this system saver and another one, I'm about to connect the system saver and so you can see how it works. So if I connect it, you can turn it off, turn it on, and when you turn it on, it will show you how many bolts and, and uh, amperes and hertz is, is doing. And of course the fan is working. And it's the same as a normal system server, but it has a nicer modern look and it has um, things on the front. On the back is the same thing. It has uh, two power connections. So this is actually an original one. I just redid the case and added the screen so you can see the, the different things. So that's it. That's a quick update. The new things that are coming from me, the joystick, floppy new cases with big screens and they're gonna be sold in kits and maybe I will sell a couple of uh, completed ones. And uh, of course the price is gonna be a little bit less than, than the original one because this is a 3D printed instead of metal things and, and st stuff like that. Um, so look for them soon on my 8BTs, 8BTs, everything you want in 8BTs.com and I'm gonna have a special area for 3D printed stuff right now. And there are more items coming up. So keep watching. Uh, thank you for looking at this. Remember to like, share, and see you next time.